Alright everyone, hello again. This is part 3 of the Let's Play Democracy 3. And yeah, it's all going extremely well. The party party is uh, doing everything right. As we can see. We've got, what is this, antisocial behaviour? Drinking epidemics, a drug addiction epidemic. Uh, what's this? Vigilante mobs, ghettos, uh, gun crime, armed robbery, riots, organized crime. I think that's internet crime. It's always taking so long to hover over and. Uh, Oh, race wars, <laughs> race riots. So, if you think of these... Oh my god, my mouse has just died. Okay, going to, to trackpad. Um, I don't know, if you think of these things as a one big party, it's these uh, street riots as just one big street party, then uh, it's all going well. All, all the businesses and... What's this? All the scientists and all the businesses are leaving. And we've got... I don't know why it takes so long as I hover over stuff. A corporate exodus. It's all going great. And there's a huge tax evasion problem going on. What a shame. Alright, so... Uh, I can't remember what I was going to do. We haven't got much income coming in. Oh yeah, I'll call laws. Mm. Ban Sunday shopping. You see, I really do need to please the, uh, the Christians or the, the religious and uh, maybe if I ban Sunday shopping it's kind of going over, going against what I wanted for this party but you know what politicians always break their promises don't they and uh, I could always label it as a as a way of um, getting over the hangover that everyone will obviously be feeling by that point because everyone will have been partying all week long Sunday we're going to have a hangover and it's going to be the day of rest uh, what else organic, organic farming subsidy oh I don't know Yeah, I'm gonna ban Sunday shopping. Fuck it. I, I, I'm just really frightened that the religious zealots or whatever they're called, the religious extremists, are gonna rise up and assassinate me. So I, I just think implement this. Go against all my uh, previous party policies of just not uh, getting too involved in people's lives and telling them what to do. And. Uh, I don't know, it's going to please the religious, isn't it? This slide doesn't change anything. This does absolutely nothing, this slider. Alright. Sunday is hangover day and everyone must rest. Nobody is allowed to go shopping because shopping is just the worst thing possible. Especially with a hangover, no one likes shopping, do they? And that's how I'm going to sell it to the public. This ban on Sunday shopping is not really doing much for the religious. Let's see what else we can do. Abortion law. 
I wanted to change this, didn't I? Wait, what was it? They should be able to get a <laughs> an abortion on demand. Let's just leave that how it is, because I would like to have it on demand, but uh, look how pissed off the villagers get if you do that. Okay, now I'll we'll leave this and... Oh, I don't know, look how angry people are with me. I'm, I'm quite... Socialists are quite happy, the liberals love me. The poor are really happy. Uh, State employees, environmentalists are quite pleased. What's this here? Road building. Maybe we could reduce road building to save money. Oh god, slide. Yeah. We're only going to do essential maintenance on the roads from now on. That will really please the environmentalists. The car usage will go down. Oh shit, no, I can't do it yet. Okay, next turn, that's what we'll do. Try and remember. Let's hope I don't get assassinated. Okay. <laughs> I'm really hoping I don't get assassinated by extremists. The damn Christians. Scare services have been watching the Crusades a lot for some time. Yeah, we should keep a close eye on them, but... Oh god, what's this? Vandalism on our streets has reached new heights today when a gang of young thugs damaged our sacred war memorial. It seems the crime has got complete out of control and no place for safe from the thugs. American services are disappointed. I'm trying to see what that is. That's one spray painted and tore down this monument. Oh well. Mm, ah, the religious, that's going up a little bit. They're not quite as pissed off as they were. Slightly happier. Hmm. What else can I what else can I please? The middle income. No. The wealthy oh, I hate the wealthy, they can piss off. In general, everybody hates us. Okay, so what was I gonna do? Road building. No, clean fuel subsidy. What we're gonna do? Road building. This is going to save us a fuck ton of money. We can't afford to build roads anymore, I'm sorry. I'm starting to regret taking the police off the scene. <laughs> Popular with 0% of voters. Uh, I can see now how how politicians have to just go go back backtrack on it all their policies, especially around voting time. Crime will be reduced, violent crime will be reduced. I think we should have a bit more funding on police, just a little bit. Yep. I'm sorry people. I know. Party's over. Not really. Alright, let's, let's see if I can implement something. Mm. 
Mm, free I test for everyone. Shh. No, please get back on the street. No, we don't want it. Okay, shush. Apply changes. Yep. Next. That's the way you do it in politics. You uh, you distract people with a, a policy that's kind of silly. I know a free eye test isn't silly, but you do something like, oh, we're going to introduce a pasty tax, and then all the media goes all crazy about that kind of thing. But in the background, you're really doing something ten times worse, but keeping quiet about that so no one notices. Oh, these guys are still on the on the case. These killer nuns. She looks like a man dressed as a nun. Crusaders of the Lord. Mm. Oh, welfare minister has resigned. They were unhappy with a number of our policies. Okay. I never even seen this screen before. Okay. Let's show potential ministers. Okay, Eric Green. She sounds good. Rosemary Wright. Right. Can't be bothered going for all these people. Let's just go for you. Can I do it, Rosemary? Can I hire you? Okay, go. I want Rosemary. You are hired. Who else is pissed off? This woman. I don't like you. No, she's alright. She just complains a lot. Okay. Let's see what else. <sighs> We're getting quite a big, big expenditure. Oh god, we need to make money somewhere. I should never have gotten rid of the alcohol tax. Uh. Hmm. Where's unemployment? It's man sleeping, right? See, that does it. Maybe I'll just raise this corporation tax again. How much am I... what's the deficit? What am I losing? So I need to make 32 billion extra. Is it? That's, I think that's good maths, is it? So, uh, 86. <sighs> that would piss a lot of people off. <sighs> oh, sorry, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> And we're gonna have a, we're gonna have everyone just really angry with us now. Let's implement something silly like the robotic research grant or a monorail. <laughs> yes, this is the ultimate distraction technique. Let's. Uh,
Oh my god, it's so expensive. We can't afford this. I've already built it though. Oh man, I should have looked at the price of the thing. What a folly. What a governmental folly this was. Okay, so instead of making money, I think I'll just... I maybe evened it out. Oh wait, I've just unlocked an achievement. Two. I've unlocked the Kyoto board. We may be members of a small club, but it's an important one. We are taking our climate change obligations seriously. Well, at least we're doing one thing, right? Alright, and we've eradicated poverty somehow. Amazing. Ah, oh, fuck these. I... <sighs> we've got a black market. That's how the economy's working. Because the, the corporation tax is so high, there's a black market. Okay, fine. That sounds good to me. Um, hmm. Our expenditure and our income, I think, are getting further apart. Oh, God. How's our space program coming? That was a space station. Have we built that yet? How about, how about the monorail? I don't know where, where that is. Monorail. Alright, so what can we get rid of? What's this? Bus lanes. Cancelled. No, I don't want to change bus lanes. What's this? The train rail subsidies. We're paying, we're giving a lot of money in rail subsidies, aren't we? Mm. I don't know whether we should. We've got this. We've got a monorail system now. Maybe we should. Not spend so much money on rail subsidies. Alright, only five billion. Sorry, rail. Sorry, Richard Branson. God, these policies. I'm, I'm such an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. Next. Religious are still angry. Why? I thought you were happy. I banned Sunday shopping. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm not taking this. Screw you, religious. No, they're going to be really, really angry, aren't they? On demand abortions. <laughs> okay, on demand abortions. I don't care, stupid religious. Uh, let's go. It should sort out the overpop overpopulation problem we're going to have. Oh my god, they're so angry now. Each concern protest. So what's wrong with the elderly are now angry? Okay, fine. Uh. Oh my god, our approval rating is just 36%. 
What have we got here? Oh my god. <sighs> no, this is... Go away. I don't know what this is. Money. Ah, uh, state pensions, that's where all the cash is going, isn't it? This, state pensions and state health service. Maybe I should punish the elderly by taking away their pensions. So income tax is, uh, where's that? Income tax, is that it? Oh god. This hovering over thing takes so long. Inheritance tax. Income tax. I tell you what we're going to do is where's state pensions? What's that? Elderly disability? Private pensions? <laughs> Just get rid of the state pensions. It will piss off a lot of people, won't it? Capitalists will be a bit happier. Poverty would be reduced. Oh, God. That will make people so angry, isn't it? Screw you old people, you want to complain? There you go. Income tax, oh, just, just a little bit up. Oh shit, I can't do that. Alright, let's see how it goes. Something's happening, it's loading. Oh, every time. They haven't done anything yet, so why... Continue. Okay, so, uh... Maybe we should have some more intelligence on the streets. Have we still got an intelligence service? What's that? What's this? Achievements? Okay. Now we've got the State Health Service taking all the money. Black market is making money in here, according to this. Maybe we should just try and increase the black market and see if we can make it, how much money we can make from that. Where is the black market? Is that it? Tax evasion? No. Black market? What did that thing look like? Race riots. They're still going on. We've had riots in the inner cities for like months and months. It's absolutely insane. Black market, okay. Causes, the corporation tax. 
income tax. Maybe we should try and increase it and then we might have a good black market. Of course we're not making any money off it because we're not getting any tax, but... Keep people happy, wouldn't it? Fuck off. A new situation has developed. It looks like our country is leading the world in a number of major areas of science and technology. Oh my god, we actually do we actually got a good thing. Our space program, I told you that was a good idea, didn't I? Okay. Interspeed Autos, one of our largest car companies in the country is running into serious financial difficulties. They need six hundred million. Yeah right. You can have that cash. Go ahead. I'm feeling good because of the technological advantage. Cool. Um, I've got a feeling that I'm going to implement a new robotics research grant. Implement. Yes, we are the world leaders. We're going to build robots now. It's going to be low though, don't be silly with the money, but let's apply that. Mm. Alright, so over here, not too bad, ish, really. Over here, terrible. Law and order in this place is an absolute nightmare. I'm just hoping It'll get so bad that it'll kind of come round full circle and become amazing. Yes. The head of the church has called upon you to resign and told his followers not to vote for you or support your party. You have been described as an amoral and spiritually corrupt leader. Well, that's true. And shouldn't that be given the support of the church? Well, maybe not. I tell you what, just for that, we're going to cancel the uh, Sunday shopping policy. And we're going to teach only evolution. See how you like that. If you want to complain, that's what happens. What else have we got up here? What's this? Oh man. The opposition have got a good voter turnout. I don't know what that means to be honest. I just looked at it and then... Quarterly report. I want to see something. What's this? No. I want to see how far I am, how close I am to election time, is this it? Five turns, oh god. I'm going to go up to the next election and then uh, probably be voted out of office. Fracking. Alright, yeah, we'll have fracking. That sounds fracking amazing. Uh, is it on here? Do we have a fracking thing now? I don't know. Who cares? Let's see if there's any more silly things we can implement. Maternity leave. Hmm, 
implement, I'm going to implement a load of silly policies to try and win over the voters. We're going to try and get the farmers on board. What else was there? An organic farming subsidy. Farmers will love this. And that's all we can do this round. Yes, yes, we know there's a... Okay, we're going to appoint the senior judge. Because he's just died. Don Griffin, song support of human rights. Uh, Pro-consumer and not afraid to challenge large corporations. This one is uh, outspoken, harsh sentences. No, Don Griffin sounds cool. He sounds like a bro, doesn't he? Policies, silly policies as we're approaching. Uh, Public services, okay, we're gonna do uh What's this which is gonna be the most popular? The university grants, people are gonna like that to me. It's ex expensive as hell. Grants, gr university grants for everybody. Ignore the money that's pissing out of our coffers. I'm just gonna promise them the world. Ah oh, shit! Okay, so uh, a dark day for democracy. The Crusader of Lords has succeeded in assassinating the democracy the democratically elected ruler of the country. A combined attack involving half a dozen gunmen, a powerful car bomb, 12 people died including you, game over. Oh well, that was it, that's my end of my game. It all ended horribly but at least the uh, country was having fun the whole time, really enjoyed my uh, rule. Uh, yeah, that's what you get if you piss off the religious. Don't trust nuns, and uh, that's it. That's what would happen if I was in, cold, in control of the country. So, thanks for watching, everyone. And leave a comment or whatever if you've actually watched this. <laughs> I don't know if anyone is, but uh, yeah, thanks. Goodbye.